too bad for this Viper Earthshake. They've done a lot of damage to the Jug and the Enchantress. They did pull the lane back with Fisher, so they had lane very close to, to their tower at the start, having extra armor, extra regeneration. It's a lot of pressure. And spin a pretty long cooldown level one. We need Ame to get to level three to really feel super safe in this lane. I guess once Y gets his levels as well, we'll have these these creeps chasing down the Viper, causing some chaos. Outside BZM more than recovering. Getting towards dead even with the Winter Wyvern. And he'll have his bottle being delivered by that courier very shortly. While Yuragi, trapped inside the Arch Shards of Jin Q. Illuminate comes with his tag team doing some serious damage. They don't want to commit though. Jin Q had five uh, Quell Spray charges, did not want to go. Uh, there's a oh, he's finally unblocks the big cap. Gets it done. Fisher onto army. He's out of mana. Oh, he's this got, might be the first blood. He's only got one stick charge. The poison attacks go in there. And Chant though slowed the Viper down yes. just enough. Now Arme and Y, a little bit of a turnaround as they spin that's back towards Seb. Won't be able to finish anybody off though. Nature's Radiant attendants will now heal the Juggernaut off. They've got that double heal in the lane for the sustaining. Incredible to contest this because we can only assume that OG will do that as well. They were thinking about it. Definitely got the options, you know, jug spin, split to blast, they've got ways of clearing it. It's nothing to say. Is that straight up That's solo, solo kill. kill. Oh. oh, what a sick move. I guess BZM underestimated the damage. Oh, I did. The, <laughs> the Ember Illusion, you know, helping out as well. Hitting into the Ember Spirit himself. Dyer's nothing to say after that. Attack. First death, making up for it. And it looks like LGD not really in position to contest the stacks as Yuragi takes them. Instead, playing into the dire triangle, finding Sep. Clearing through the Earthshake. Yeah, but trade off here with Amara arriving. We'll find the Tusk kill, and now BZM wants to get involved. Fate Beyond, red to the pot. Wyvern comes in from the left hand side. Fate Beyond trying to throw out his ulti to kill off Amara. Sprouts the Viper, still alive, but the Flame Guard will burn him through. Tiger the runs it back. Fire begins. And a two for two. Has been if they Prophet had DP. Managing a uh, console. Dead inside the shards. No oh. toxins out there though, and the poison attacks from ATF clears through the tusk. I don't know if they can catch BZM, but it looks like Yi yeah, being hounded by Yuragi. The big punch is coming out of the bristleback with his bonus damage. While Faith Bian finished off by BZM in the back. So three for one there. LGD, again, playing into Dire Vision with no vision of their own. Yi here to hit these high timings. TPM, the snowball in though. They want Sam real bad. Finish off the Earthshaker with a snap decision from LGD. Ice Shards also blocking Tiger away, but BZM, of course, has that remnant to safely slide up to the high ground. OG still needs 500 gold to finish Aghanim Scepter on Bristleback, then they're gonna be ready to go. And also Keeper of the Light, uh, level 7, about to hit level 8, the uh, Chakra Magic will be maxed out, then you can play with both Ember Spirit, replenish his abilities, and also Bristleback. So you're gonna have it all the time. Ooh, look at this Viper Gun! Yeah, he's destroying him! You know, 1v2 basically, Jin Kid finally dies though. The nature though bounces back across it. Yeah, pulls up the Viper while Tiger trapped inside all the trees. Oh, but the pressure and the find from Sam and BZM. Now, Fifth Young, any stuns to come, they just get the damage instead. And it's Observer Ward on the high ground, revealing not to say he didn't want to use bottles straight away, and the, they blow him up, and they're gonna do the same thing to Enchantress. The bristle damage! He's doing 400 damage a hit, it's only 17 minutes. In. That's Aghanim Scepter for you. Tried to kill the momentum with uh, taking Aegis off Yuragi. Yuragi also adjusting his item build, going for Lotus Orb on himself to be able to... If there's a Snowball, there's Omni Slash, uh, good curse, removing both Arc Bird here. and Witchblade. It's a really good pickup. I, I see a lot of Rizzlebacks not wanting to buy it because they... You want BKB. Yeah, you want BKB, but uh, if... Your team is not gonna buy it, especially in a situation like this. You need to get it for yourself. That makes a lot of sense. That's a great grab for him. With uh, not enough lockdown, and they go and set. He doesn't have his Yule Scepter available yet. We're trying to go for the Fisher, but uh, yeah, DP out. Oh, big look right there. I hold Jinku in place. Now the Toxin and the damage from Viper stacks up. Yi slapped down from half HP. One swipe from Yuragi. Close to 500 damage per hit. Untouchable. Be damned, says the Bristleback. Yeah, he, he probably stole like one or two CS from nothing to say. Oh, and BZM. Exactly. 
Easy end, they're kind of going him. Can they kill him though? He's out of there. Amber Very spirit. limited with stuns. They, yeah. they needed some kind of silence. Maybe we're talking about uh, tier tier four items potentially. There, there's not going to be orchid, but that, that's you know those uh, tier four items. It's never going to feel too comfortable coming into a fight. Oh, Amber he's in. BZ straight in. Fisher comes with a snowball save. Buys time for LGD to maybe turn the fight around for the two support. Now on the low ground. Humble down by Amar and BZ. Double buy Here comes the Amber again with the DD rune going. They're focusing nothing to save. They're splitting. Trying to get away from this winner's curse. Protect the shore and then get the kill as well. Back. A double for the Vibrant army. Does pick up BZ. Spinning back to high Good ground. Fisher. And the curse arriving onto Tiger. A buyback from nothing to save. Gets them one bonus kill. Controlling Roshan. And this is a zone around it. Amar. Jump to punch by Shinkyu, snowball forward, what can Yuragi do? Lone Swarm in on it, but Armin is clearing up in the back lines. He spun towards victory. No buybacks coming out from them, no buyback on Ember Spirit. Uh, BSG LGD, they're heavily committing, they want to secure this Roshan. They understand how important it is uh, playing against the Bristleback. So only one who bought back on their side is uh, Seb and maybe Tiger bought back as well. Tiger did three minutes ago, yeah. yeah. So this is a free Roshan, a lot of commitment. They for OG was the fact that and it's in giving such a beautiful amount of basically burst heal at this point. Okay, and Yuragi, they, they really want this year Chandra, so they've got the corner brace now adding to their heal. Spin out from Arme, he'll find Tiger on the right side, and BZM, he's dropping pretty low, might have to skip away from this spot. Still wants the Enchantress, well, Yuragi BKB and run himself back with the spotted legs. I'm just ready to jump in with a blank dagger. Oh, they could curse him maybe here, they pop the Lincolns. BZM out, the rest of them TP as well. That's proud. Ahmed was ready to go in on Bristleback because he knew Lotus Orb was in though. One remnant remains, incredibly slow BZM Amber Spirit, trying to retreat. Speed. They might still be able oh, to I catch him. I think they might just have him. Flickers off a little dispel there, but he yeah. goes back down again with a sprout. Leash him up and catch the Ember Spirit. Down he goes, while Juggernaut has managed to disengage from the rest of them. The CPSG LGD, go for the high ground. Go for the high ground. Bottom that they can claim. No need to irrationally shove up high ground. You do have the juggled spin that can do a pretty good job here, but the Lotus bounces the swift slash back onto him. He'll look for the Tiger with a kill there. And the Jogger goes again. That's the big one. Kills that set as well. Now the only slash is the real one. Yuragi killed him. Buyback galore from OG. Four of them return to the battlefield. While Ame still has that Aegis. Seb is in towards nothing to say, but he needs a cheese and gets the BKB out as well. LGD are able to reset all Yuragi. Charges forward. Another Fisher out. Stunned up with a bash too. So a couple of kills for OG. Can he get out? The retreat no for LGD success. Spirit now. Oh, Yurag is here. Still 30 seconds left on Aegis. The rest of the team is trying to connect. He's just going to continue fighting this though, Yurag. He chases back Arme. Oh, the missile blade comes. Aegis, yes, is there to be reclaimed. Seb wanting Faith Bianu TP'd into the back lines. His BKB gives him the safety and the, the Fisher blocked away Yuragi, so no bashes could come. Also, Spin final legs were not ready. ATM. Lotus Orb on him. Scardi slows annoying. But Faith Bianu is going to tell he's just TP'ing around from high ground to low ground. Look at me, I'm over here, I'm over there. And ATM jumps to bottom by Arme. And nothing to say. Well, what I does get the finish time. Just don't, that's about it. Just don't forget about Blink Echo. That's the one thing that LGD have to have at the forefront of their minds. Ready. It's very difficult. He goes in with the Blink Dagger, Snowball save, or just a casual four step. Come in, wants to finish the game. Yeah, they want these tier fours. They know there's no Viper, no Ember. 30, 40 seconds on the sidelines for them. And he goes in with a quick switch slash and a spin. Oh, you're on. He down you go. So quickly falling for this Juggernaut's right click damage. Still alive with his BKB in the line. Ready to jump with Donnie. Oh, yeah. Army. He comes in with a basher, clears up two more kills, and that's OG down and out. They will get the oars up as Sep cyclones himself, but there is no safety from this LGD side. Gary, did you just call it? Move in towards the back, ignores Tiger, wants Huskar instead.
struggling to decide which target he's going for. Jump here. He's moving up, moving down. Now focusing towards him. Blow up a mark. Tiger, the next target. Line it up and finish him off. Oh, little Marcy. No way to jump away from this, is there? Maybe he can get a dispose out, but nothing to say. He's going to try to catch up. Set with a heal. Now the two-man coil. Tiger's still alive and able to battle on through. They will get the waiting ramp in onto three. The Star Slash low enough to kill them off. Crazy and the boys bring down and out. And GQ with one last Fisher finishes off the puck. A three for two trade. And Xin Q should surely be disposed back and found. Set with a double. double. Is under attack. Oh, Void Spirit, uh, one second until the Resonant Pulse. If he gets that off, getting some extra damage and also getting the tankiness, I think he lives there. Another reload bottom. And you're arguing with Tiger. We're coming down here thanks to Seb aiming for Ame. TPs from LGD are coming through, but the CK was one charge is dead to right. In comes NTS though. Resonant Pulse, the relocate out, the leap Tiger here to die. As they save the backup arrived so quickly. And now he's gonna go on Yuragi. Chucks the stun at him. Phantasm without illusion doing some decent chip damage, but he's the one being turned off. Yi is here as backup with a wild wing. Tiger cycloned across with a hurricane, but oh I'll dispose Yi back into the middle of four of them. Chan just hands his life over to save the Chaos Knight. Showing a lot of heroes bot. He found the Marcy now. Fisher. Well placed. As they will chain disable. Tiger's Marcy. That's a blank dagger. 15 minutes in on Earthshaker. Considering yes. that they've been fighting all the time and he died only two times. This is what you want to do. Difficult for him to find which one is real. I will find the real one straight up here with Amar Tiger. On to oh. Arme. No BKB for him yet on the CK. He turns to try and fight the disarm. No more life skill. Let's let go. Turns the straight back on them. Sam gonna go for the TP home. An LGD. They get something out of nothing there. They caught him underneath the vision. There are two observer wards right towards their base. This looks so weird. I mean, <laughs> double void. Double, great band, double void. Well, it's beautifully arranged, aesthetically pleasing. Razor build as nothing to say. Saved up by Jinkyu again. By turning onto the Marcy here. Tiger just charging towards the Earthshaker. Wants to get a couple of spells off, but now he's trapped down in the river. Army will take that up for himself. Handed a kill on a silver platter, and out of the doom has expired. Nothing to say. Flying onto it. Yuragi trying to run it back, but he's being drained of his damage. Killed by Faith Bian. And the same issue that OG has been facing. They dropped the Doom, but there is no real follow-up. And one Fisher just says, enough, you need to stop. Jinkyu's positioning has Scar against the Razor. It would have been worse for Doom if he had been against the Razor. Oh, hang on a second, it's Tiger. Red Fian's found it with a fresh up. He's got the Eye of the Storm out. He's got double BKB ready to disposal as well. They've got the Doom on the Void Spirit, though. Red Fian trying to defend and the Hunter back. Pushes nothing to say away from danger. The Hand of God heals it. And in comes the rest. Army with a double kill. Clearing through OG. Tiger. No way of escaping. Penitence and the Rift on him. And GG is called a 2 0 victory here for LGD. And quite a simple one at that. OG understanding that they have no business left in this game.